Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Manuel Gearbox and we're back with the set of Corsa with our old school is good school series and today we're featuring the Porsche 962. Uh, this is the car that uh, was one of the brainchilds of Norbert Singer and this is the short tail version of the 962C uh, which ran in 1985 with Jackie X and Johan Mass at the wheel. Uh, the reason we are featuring this car right now, unlike most uh, the, the previous videos in our Old School is Good School series, we're not going to do a race today. What we're going to do is going to try to try to beat Yo Stefan Belov's uh, Nordschleife uh, lap record, which is 6 minutes, 11 seconds, and 13, uh, 13 hundredths of a second. Uh, we're going to be doing exactly the same uh, racetrack configuration, which is just the Nordschleife. The uh, GP track will be uh, bypassed, just like he did back in 1983. And we're using the 962. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Stefan Belf was actually using the 956 in 1983, and this is the 1985 version, the short tail 962. Uh, this car that you see right now was the car that Jackie X was driving during the 1985 1000 kilometers of Spa and on lap 77 he was uh, running in first place with uh, Stefan Belov running a close second and shortly before going into a rouge uh, Steph, uh, Stefan Belov uh, made contact with Jackie X and both of them lost control and ended up against the wall uh, outside of a rouge and unfortunately this uh, this ended tragically for for Belov. Uh, he he died instantly. So yeah, this is the car that this is the car that actually uh, uh, Jackie is, was driving, you know, during that fateful race. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to beat the record. I mean, the odds are, are you know they're greatly against me. Uh, I do have a few handicaps. One of them is the fact that I know every single corner all the way up to the carousel, but beyond the carousel. I, it's, everything is kind of sketchy, you know, I'm not quite familiar with all the, uh, the corners there, so that's a handicap, obviously, that's a disadvantage, but I'm still going to try, you know, I'm going to see how close I can get to Stefan Belov's uh, awesome record, which, uh, by the way, has, uh, it was established in 1983 and has remained intact for 34 years, and uh, that's a feat to be reckoned with, to be honest. Uh, when it comes to the 962, this car is one of Norbert Singer's brainchild. It dominated, you know, in, during the 1980s. Uh, it won Le Mans in 1986 and 1987. Uh, it won with Privateers. Even in the mid-1990s, uh, back in 1994, this car still won Le Mans with, uh, de with, uh, under the badge of Dower, which was another Privateer. And you know, it's one of those iconic race cars. You know, every time you think about endurance racing in the 1980s, the first car that comes to mind is this one. You know, the 962 along with the 956. Now, the only difference between the 956 and the 962 is that the 962, the front axle, sits in front of the uh, driver's feet, where the uh, 956 is the other way around. You know, the front axle center line uh, lies behind the driver's feet. This was uh, considered a a safety fault, by the way, by IMSA, and it was banned. And this is the, that's the reason why the 962 was developed. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take this car out, and we're going to see how close we can get to Stefan Belov's uh, lap record. Okay? So I'll see you guys on the racetrack. Okay, so here we go. We're on the Nordschleife uh, Porsche 962. We're going to do the out lap, and I'm going to skip that. And as soon as I'm done with the hot lap, or should I say, as soon as I'm back with a hot lap, I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we go. First, first hot lap. Let's see if we can finish this one. Oh. I'm going to try to stay quiet for as much as I can because this track demands an insane amount of uh, concentration. Okay, here we go. 
full throttle. this part right here. Woohoo! Easy boy. We got a lap to rake. Oh. The odds are very much against me, but... Gotta give it a... Tr gotta give it a shot. Louder links right here. We'll take this guy and then we're we're gonna go flat out. All the way up to the hairpin before the carousel. This car because of the uh, very low road clearance and because of the uh, of the uh, of the side skirts not quite happy when you run over curves. The car just wants to jump all over the place. So you need to be careful with that. Like that. You see how the car jumps? Okay. Hairpin. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's a lap killer. So this car is not too happy with the carousel, as you're going to see right here. It just jumps all over the place again because of the very low road clearance. Sometimes I wonder if it's uh, better to go on the outside. And this is where it gets kind of sketchy. Not too familiar with this part right here. The curves all look the same to me, so gotta take it with a pinch of salt. Ooh. That was a third gear turn back there. I'll take this on third. I'm gonna go down to second on this one. Oh, this was a uh, second gear turn. Crap. Oh, that's gonna do it for this lap. I'm gonna do two laps. See if I can... Uh, I can improve on the second one. This first one, I don't think I'm gonna come, come close to breaking the lap record. Okay, 
coming up on the second carousel, which again is not, this one is a little bit more forgiving than the first one. So, I'll take that a little bit faster. Just a little dab on the brakes. Get the car pointed in the right direction and then it's full throttle. Okay, so you see on the chronometer up there, the, just past the 6 minute 11 second mark, so yeah, we're way be, way off. Stefan Belov's uh, lap record. Suspension is way too stiff. You see the car just jumping all over the place. Oh. It's one lap. Let's go for a second one, see if we can do any better. sector times on on the north life uh, which is kind of weird it should be so that way you can measure you're actually doing good or you need to pick up the pace take this in fourth and hard on the brakes second gear going down below the bridge I love this car, it's a very good reason why Hans Stuck considers this car to be his favorite. It's not kidding, I mean this... Okay. Just shut up a little bit here while I go through this area. I've yet to learn the names of the uh, corners on, on an Evergreen. And it's such an awesome racetrack. It's a shame Formula 1 doesn't race here anymore. I've always been more of a sports car, touring car fan than single seaters, but uh, you know, they're still race cars. Big fan of the champ cars in the late 1990s, early 2000s. place they call the village. Oh, 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 take it easy, take it easy. And that turbo lag is once it kicks in, those rear wheels just light up. Now the links. I took this corner all wrong. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm doing any better. Like I said, everything everything before the carousel I know and practically memorized. But beyond the carousel, that's when things get a little bit sketchy. That's where I lose a lot of lap a lot of lap time. off in the throttle, don't want to oversteer, like I did last time. 
here comes the infamous carousel. And the car just doesn't like going through here because of low road clearance and I'm losing a lot of speed. Oh boy, turbo lag's killing me. Second gear. Very conservative here, don't want to overdo it. limiter. Second gear turn. Tracing radius turn right here. This is the second gear turn right here. Again, a sec. Uh, it's cold. We just said it a few. Decreasing radius turn. Sorry. time so okay so again looking at looking at the uh, timer in the upper right upper left corner of the screen you know that I just missed the trend the uh, lap record by who knows how long so yeah this just highlights uh, what an awesome driver Stefan Bell was. Oh, almost ran into the wall. Doesn't matter anymore. So 652. Yeah. I don't know how much that is. I mean, I got to do a lot of math, but yeah, that's my best lap record around the uh, North Slap on the 916. Way off Stefan Bell's side. And it should be expected. Yeah, that's that's no surprise right there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.